What's going on, gents? And ladies who might be listening. Nigel Hunt here. The intellectual douchebag. Coming to you with yet another video. And I've been meaning to make a video like this for some time now. And you see the title of the video. The Black Christian Church is full of nothing but hoes and hypocrites. So I was driving to work the other day. And I was listening to the station 107.5 with Steve Harvey and his crew. And they were talking about confessions. They were having people call up and confess to some greasy act that they took part in. Whether it is cheating on their mate, their wife, or something else. Now, personally, why anyone would want to call a radio station and <laughs> tell on themselves, I don't know, but to each their own. Anyway, this one guy called up, and he had to be the best story. Honestly, his story was the only one I can remember. Now, this guy was a uh, member of some Christian church in some state really doesn't matter and this man was a married man he confessed to as a married man sleeping with his pastor's daughter but wait there's more there's more to this story he did this after finding out that his wife slept with the pastor who is also married so basically his pastor slept with his wife first and to get back at him he went and s not only did he sleep with the man's daughter with the pastor's daughter he also slept with the pastor's wife I'm listening to all this shit driving into my job and I'm laughing my ass off because it's typical it's not it's not all shocking to me I've been to a couple of churches, Christian churches, in my life. I had the single black mother that was the born-again Christian. She used to force me and drag me to go to that bullshit when I was a child. And I saw the hypocrisy from a young age. So this story I really found entertaining. But not shocking at all in the least bit. What was unfortunate was they had to disconnect his call. Because he said, after all this went down, the pastor sleeping with his wife and him sleeping with the pastor's daughter and the pastor's wife, him and the pastor ended up getting into a uh, fist fight. Because when they were doing the greetings and the pastor was coming by and shaking everyone's hands and blessing them in the name of the Lord or whatever the fuck that even means, he said, I slapped the shit out of him <laughs> on the ear. So they had to drop that call right away. And I'm listening to this. I'm like, how does anybody take any of these people seriously? Man, these people are always preaching about hell and eternal damnation. And then you look at the way they live. I mean, you got the pastor, the leader of the church, sleeping with another man's wife. And then you have his wife. The pastor's wife cheating on him and sleeping with another married man. And the pastor's daughter, which they've been known to be some of the biggest whores in the church, sleeping with an, a married man. I mean, do you think any one of these people really have a fear for eternal damnation? Me, myself, I'm not a religious man. I think the I think religion was created as a social construct to basically keep poor people from slaughtering rich people. And I think that was a uh, term that uh, Napoleon himself said. I think it's all bullshit. And I think a lot of these leaders know it. They use it as a way of 
milking people out of money using fear and selling them a dream and it works religion is a billion dollar industry okay I'm gonna stick to the subject in this video and talk about the two biggest whores and hypocrites in the black Christian church the black pastor and the black female let's start with the black pastor first now I should note before I get into the meat of this video that I come from a Christian background. This is because I was forced into it by my single black mother when I was young. So I've been around these people for a majority of my life. When I was in my teens, when I was in my early 20s. So I've seen a lot. So the black Christian pastor Here's a man that they designate the shepherd of the sheep, the leader of the congregation in the church. This is the man who Sunday after Sunday, he allegedly brings the word of the living God to his congregation. In a sermon that's mostly designed to do one of two things, either scare you into quote unquote behaving right when he preaches the uh, hellfire and damnation sermon or you'll get the prosperity sermon don't worry God's in charge everything's going to be all right God will make a way where there's no way these days I believe there's more of the preaching of the prosperity sermon because they want to keep their members all the black Christian churches in my opinion for black people is just a coping mechanism to deal with life in America but anyway back to this black pastor this black leader he is in a position of power a lot of people in this congregation look up to him especially the black female he's deified by these black women and why is that you may ask well, different reasons. First off, he brings this uh, message of false hope, in my opinion. Things are going to get better. God's going to provide everything for you. Even though you've been a wayward woman all your life, that has all these bastard kids from different men, God will provide a perfect husband for you, regardless of your fuck-ups. So there's no reason to be accountable for your actions because God has forgiven you and God's going to bless you in spite of your fuck up. That's more or less the sermon that they preach. And that's why a lot of these black females eat it up. And this is why a lot of these black females deify this man. Because if we know anything about the black female, they do not like taking accountability for their actions. Not one bit. It's always somebody else's fault. And this pastor is always bringing the word of God. The word of God. From a book that allegedly was written by the living God. As an instruction manual of how to live your life. And all he's doing is using that book to manipulate this congregation. Made up mostly of these black females out of money. He's pimping these black women. And because of his position of power, he knows that he can basically sleep with any one of those black women in that church. And that's why we hear of so many different scandals where we have these pastors sleeping with these men's wives, their girlfriends, their sisters, their mothers. Hell, some of them are even sleeping with these women's sons and there have been so many stories in the past where people getting shot over this there's a pastor that was shot for sleeping with uh, one of his members wives then there was a pastor that shot a man after sleeping with the man's wife when the man tried to approach him about it in his congregation the pastor shot him dead 
So in my opinion, most of these guys are no good. They're really the devil behind the pulpit. And ultimately, they're taking advantage of a downtrodden, defeated group of people in the black community. And this is my honest opinion. I mean, if you go to any urban area, you see all these churches littered within the neighborhood. And you look at the neighborhood itself, the drugs, the crime, the murders. Are these churches really bringing anything of value? Anything that could help uplift this community, these communities? No, they're just milking these people of money. Money that they could be using to build their lives. I mean, could you imagine? You meet some church girl, feel that she's the one, get married, go to this church. And you find out that this pastor is taking your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, whatever. Stretching her over that mahogany wood desk that your tide money paid for. And banging her out before sending her home to you. Meanwhile, he has his own wife and kids at home. But that's what goes on in the black church with these black pastors. Who the majority of them, although they sit there Sunday after Sunday preaching about God, heaven, hell the devil, and eternal damnation, they themselves have no moral compass whatsoever. They are some of the biggest whores out there and hypocrites because they'll tell you to behave a certain way to make sure you're walking in the light, living a godly life. Meanwhile, they'll go around in the church laying pipe like never before to every single woman that's there. Doesn't matter if she's married or whatever. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if... He's married. This is why I think the black Christian church is a waste of goddamn time. That whole religion, to me, is bullshit and a social construct. And most of these black pastors are really just a piece of shit. So we've spoken about the black pastor and all his exploits in the black Christian church. Let's now talk about the second biggest whore and hypocrite in the black Christian church. The black female. Now to all the black brothers that are listening to this video, I would warn you to be very cautious. If you're unfortunate enough to be dealing with one of these black Christian church women, they really have no loyalty to you or even to the God that they claim they believe in. Because the majority of them will sit up in your face, tell you that you're wrong for not believing in the Bible or following Christianity to degree and fervor that they do. You don't go to church enough. You don't come to the Wednesday night service. You don't carry on in church the way she does. And she may be telling you bullshit like, well, you got to put a ring on it. I'm not having sex until I'm married. Yeah, that's all bullshit. Because <clears throat> in a lot of cases, she's there putting that ass in the air for that black pastor. Nine times out of ten. And you're thinking that you're doing the right thing or living the quote-unquote Christian life by adhering to her program. If you're dumb enough to wait until you get married to have sex with this chick, you're going to find out that all you're doing is getting sloppy seconds behind a pastor she's been banging this whole time. A pastor who has his own wife that he goes home to. The majority of these black Christian women are full of shit and I speak from experience believe me like I've said I've seen a lot in my 40 something years on this planet see to a lot of these black women Christianity is a way of giving them some kind of equity some kind of value that they wouldn't have any other way she used to be a whore that would go clubbing every weekend have sex with random strangers every weekend. But now, thanks to the goodness of white Jesus, she doesn't do that anymore. She's a quote-unquote new creature. And now the next guy coming in has to follow her program because this is what God would want. So not only does this religion 
give them some sort of value or equity that is really a farce. It's a way of them to manipulate a black man. I have three different kids from three different men who are no good. But I did this when I was lost and didn't know God. But now, thanks to the glory and the mercy of white Jesus, I am a new creature in the Lord. Yeah, with the same damn three bastard kids. I don't do the things I used to do. Not to any average guy, but to the pastor. He can get it when he wants. And like I mentioned before, there have been cases where black men have gotten killed behind these women. Again, the case where this black husband found out that his wife was messing around with the pastor. And when he went to approach the pastor, the pastor shot him. So these women are just as dangerous, if not even more dangerous, than these hood black women that you deal with out here that would, where you'd end up getting shot by some nigger that she's messing with, some drug dealing nigger, gunslinging thug. They're just as dangerous, if not worse, because you don't expect it from a church chick. You think you're safe, but they have no loyalty to you. They have no loyalty to that religion. They would appear to be friendly to the pastor's wife, smiling on her face, hugging her during the service, but then sleeping with her husband. No loyalty to their husbands, their fiancé, or the men that are in their lives. No loyalty to the so-called friends they have in church, in the way of the pastor's wife. No loyalty there. You have to ask yourself, who are these black women actually loyal to? I mean, I think the majority of black men out there know that they're not loyal to us. Most of us have known this most of our lives, but that's another subject for another video. But trust me, I can tell you, these black Christian women, the majority of them are hoes and hypocrites, and they're not loyal to you. There's no loyalty in them. And I can tell you story after story, things that I've seen in my life, and where these women have cheated on their husbands, the church that I used to go to back in the day, it was known all over the church that this woman was messing around on her husband she had kids with, with her boss. It was known because the husband found out and he told everybody. He was distressed. And she had no shame about it whatsoever. Still ran up in the church every Sunday like she wasn't doing anything wrong. Because, you know, only God can judge them on their actions. So I can do whatever the hell I want, and you shouldn't judge me, because only God can judge me. In my honest opinion, the majority of these women are no good. And I can go on and on on this subject, because believe me, I've seen many cases, many cases, that validates my argument of the majority of these black Christian women being nothing but hoes and hypocrites, just like the black pastor. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for this video. Do you agree with what I said? Have you come across situations with hypocritical black Christian women and hypocritical black Christian pastors? Please comment in the comment field below, or better yet, make a response video. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about your experiences, as I'm sure many of my subscribers would as well. Please be sure to rate and comment on this video and share it on social media. Please help me to help this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. More videos to come. This is Nigel Hunt, the intellectual douchebag. And I'm out of here, goddammit. I'm out. Till next time.